is there a way that you can create or modify that behavior by the way you approach and very good. Can I just clarify, do you mean sort of like at a meeting or something yeah. when somebody takes over? Yeah. He's obviously taking over and kind of flipping people away. So one of the things I'd do, Paul, <laughs> is I'd actually move um, to be actually close to you. And I have a certain authority as the, the chairperson or the facilitator. And with my assertiveness, with my ability to, to do that, I can still have um, a complete engagement of the group but I can also then say, Paul, that's a really valuable comment and we've heard such a lot from you, thank you. And would anybody else like to speak to this point? So basically using my, but you have to be confident. This is the whole thing. You need to have the mindset of confidence, the emotions to stay calm, the physical presence to, to be able to do that, to if nicely and respectfully shut the person down. Does that, does that work? Yeah, it does work. Yeah. Barrier. Yes, and, and in fact, wherever we're opposite, so at the moment actually you and I are opposite, that's the conflict position. But now we're on the same side. You know, so even if you don't believe we're on the same side, because, but physically we are, and, and our mind and emotions know that. Yeah. You validated what they said, you said that's a really big topic, thank you for sharing. So you validated what they said and yes. you opened it up from a good place. That's right. That's the key to being respectful, is that validation of, of the person. Because we all have a right to be heard. Not at one person's expense of everybody else. Yeah, so thank you, Paul. That was a great question. Thanks, thanks, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you.